Here's a close-up look at the Honeywell miniature military grade locking toggle switch. Model number 12W1-12A. I believe this is one of the switches used in the A10C aircraft. I got this switch from the website mouser.co.uk. I'll leave a link to the supplier website and also to the manufacturer website Honeywell so you can have a look through the data sheet and other information with all the details. This is a very compact and lightweight locking toggle switch hence the military aircraft applications. We'll take a couple of measurements you'll see all the detailed dimensions in the data sheet but just so you have an idea of how small this is across the width of the base 14 millimeters about 0.55 inches and the other way 13.3 that's just over half an inch 0.52 and then the overall length 57 millimeters 2.3 inches so it's a fairly standard size toggle on top but a much smaller than usual base with the electrical contacts there are those contacts three position switch, six terminals. I'll show you the operation of the switch with it mounted, it's a bit easier to see then. Here's the switch mounted in the lid of a plastic box made from material about two millimeters thick with a couple of threads showing you'll need a clearance of 32 millimeters or an inch and a quarter on top and underneath about 23 millimeters or 0.9 inches and you might need to allow a bit more room for connecting wires up to the terminals having a look at the locking mechanism on top there's a couple of things to note We've got the three locking positions, one, two, three. I noticed there's some play, quite a bit in one position, even when locked, a little bit in the center, and some play down here. And what really surprised me is, because of the way the toggle tooth is sharp, and the teeth on the bottom are square, it's possible to leave the toggle switch in an intermediate position where it's not in any of the three locking positions an intermediate position there which you can flick it out of and also on this square tooth the switch can hang up uh, that surprised me I would have thought that was quite undesirable but overall it's a very compact switch with the all important look and feel this one will definitely be going in the simulator I'll be looking at more flight sim hardware soon including some more switches I'll leave you with some close-up photos to finish this video I hope you found it useful and interesting thanks for watching